Hello, everyone. And today with me is Billy from Virginia. Hi, Billy. Hello. I'm glad to be with you, Harish. Thank you. So Billy is one of our young, energetic group leader. And yeah, we're going to talk today with Billy about his travel experience. So before we get into it, Billy, would you like to give a little bit introduction about yourself? Well, I have to correct you on one point. I'm not young. <laughs> <laughs> I've got plenty of experience around the world. I spent uh, 26 years in the U.S. Navy as a naval aviator. I've had overseas tours, probably visited uh, 27 countries. I had an opportunity to serve in uh, some far out places like uh, Saudi Arabia with the, and in Egypt with the Egyptian Air Force, Puerto Rico, all over the country and to the Western Pacific, to the Mediterranean, to the Indian Ocean, to Australia, all in the Navy. So I guess you could say I'm adventurous because of that. And I like to share these adventures with people. Some places I'm more familiar with than others. But when I get familiar, I make the best possible tour for my uh, clients that will go on tours with me. Excellent. Excellent. That is what it is. Your energy is the one that makes you young, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I mean, um, so from this Navy experience, how did you... And when did you start doing group travel? Well, uh, I started off by a, a private, not a private tour, with a, a tour to China. And uh, I, I had lived in Taiwan for two years of my life when I was young. So China was of interest. So I get to China and I see that the itinerary is not what I expected. And so from there, I branched off and looked for a tour company that could help me. And that's when I went to Indus. And uh, for the 17 tours that I've taken with Indus, they have helped me tremendously in setting up an adventurous, a scenic, uh, informative uh, tours. They let me alter the itinerary and I continually working on itineraries to make it more adventurous, uh, uh, a much better tour. And some tours uh, I repeat over and over and I get uh, plenty of people that want to travel with me. Some people like uh, my, uh, my primary destination is Egypt because I've had the most experience there back when I worked with the Egyptian Air Force. So I've been on five trips there, taken over a hundred people and we'll continue to do that. My sixth yeah. trip is on schedule now. Yeah. And I will have some people that are returning to Egypt with me for a second and third time because they love that tour so much. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing that it has been a pleasure that, you know, when you work on the itineraries, you really take care of your customers. You really want to take them to places to really kind of go and see these unique locations. And um, yeah, I was going to also touch on that. Egypt has been your best uh, trip, of course, because of your love for Egypt and the destination. And um the fifth trip that you have done yeah i want to learn and you know talk more about that so last month is when you took this group to egypt if you want to touch a little bit more on that let's start by you know how was your pre-departure from the u.s with all the protocols and the covid tests and other things well the whole uh, protocol for traveling overseas during this time of of covid is frightening we got past it though, uh, PCR test uh, uh, there, uh, here before we went, a PCR test while we were over there. It went a lot smoother than I thought it would. I was thinking, um, I was very afraid of having a positive PCR while we were in, in a foreign country. Well, that didn't happen. In fact, I found Egypt safer for exposure to the virus than the United States. And uh, that made us very comfortable. Good. Wherever we went, we saw people wearing masks and we were in some crowded situations and we avoided, uh, we avoided the COVID virus. So mm -hmm. my people, uh, none of them were frightened uh, about the, the virus because we were taking precautions and Egypt itself was taking precautions. Yeah, we've seen a lot of travel in the last uh, few months, starting September, we've had groups going to South Africa, uh, Egypt, you have taken a group. You've had another group going to Dubai, Maldives. So slowly the destinations are opening up. Tell us a little bit more about when you were on the tour. So you've this is your fifth trip to 
Egypt, you've been to pyramids before, you're going now, you've been on the Nile River before, you're going now. So any exchange, like any experience that was different or better that you want to share? Well, I uh, mentioned that uh, I tried to improve each trip. Uh, here's an example of an improvement. Most people go to Egypt to see the uh, Great Pyramid. And uh, I think that's fine. But the Great Pyramid is very crowded. And there's not a much, much exploration there. I found two pyramids to the south of uh, Giza, uh, about 15, 20 miles down. Two pyramids. And there's one in the background called the yeah. Bent Pyramid. Look at the people there. You'll only see right here a few people. Yeah. You'll see how big yeah. that pyramid is. There's a, a hundred pyramids in Egypt. I picked some that we can get to where we can explore it and not be in a big crowd. So it just makes it better. better. Good. And Good. that's one of the additions I've made. Yeah. And, and I think your size has also been the same. So you had uh, same number of passengers that you've carried before. So it was not overcrowded, well in control. And also when you're going to these sites and places, you're, you're still having that fun uh, with the group. Oh, yes. The adventure is what uh, my younger people look for. Sometimes the adventure might be too tough or too scary for some older people, but I even talk older people into it. For instance, on this last trip to Egypt, I had a, a 20, 21 on the trip, including me, and I got 12 or 13 of them to hike up Mount Sinai with me. Uh, Mount Sinai is, uh, is a scenic hike. We start at three o'clock in the morning. We get to the summit. We watch the sunrise over Saudi Arabia. Yeah. And then we hike down after the sunrise and visit St. Catherine's uh, Monastery there in the central, south central Sinai. Yeah. Uh, beautiful trip. That's an adventure. Some people that uh, were a little bit incapacitated, like uh, uh, knee problems, uh, they could select to ride a camel nearly all the way to the top yeah. so i accommodated them uh like you see in my background here yeah i make a big point of going to ross muhammad national park at the southern tip of the sinai where the uh, red sea and the gulf of Aqaba come together for the adventurous type this is the best snorkeling in the world right there where i'm in that background you swim just past that uh, shoreline there and you're in spectacular water yeah. also you know on the nile river cruise uh, everyone's comfortable. We're four days on that Nile River cruise, and here's Karnak. I mean, yeah. the most popular place in uh, temples. But along the uh, Nile River, headed uh, from at, from uh, Luxor to Aswan, which is traveling south up river, uh, we stop at about seven or eight temples along the way. Right. Uh, going into those temples four thousand years ago, they were new. And now they are such uh, uh, in such a state that you step back in history while you're yeah. on this tour. Everyone yeah. loves it. The boat is comfortable that we're on. And uh, you no, I've been to these temples. In fact, my last trip uh, on travel has been to Egypt in August 2019. So definitely. And these temples, when you go there, you just step back in time. Not only that the stones, the uh, massive artwork that they have, all the, all the drawings and, and the different things that they have. It's unbelievable how, how they must have all done. And they've had uh, floodings. They've had so many other things and still well-maintained. You know, uh, it's really very nice to see. Yeah. So there are a lot this of a, lead. Yep. I'm sorry. This is part of the adventure going to these. And it's not a physical thing. Anyone can visit these temples. They're very adjacent to the river. We get off our riverboat and uh, can pretty much uh, walk to the temples or, or uh, take a short ride to the temples. Very easy to negotiate. Yeah. And uh, people, uh, the tour guides that we have are very informative. In fact, I try to get the same tour guides each year just yes. so we'll have a consistency there. Yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Go no, ahead. that's fine. So there are a lot of group leaders who are who have been doing before and now they have been thinking to start uh, the travel program. Is there any kind of suggestion or, you know, you, you would like to give them some insight because you've now just come back from the trip uh, that they should think and look into uh, to start putting their tours? Yes. One thing I'd like to comment on, uh, group size uh, doesn't seem to matter. I've gone with as few as 12 and as many yeah. as 36. And personally, I like the bigger groups more because uh, there's more friendships developed there. Uh, our people 
from each of those trips stay in contact with each other after the trip. So uh, I would say don't worry about group size. Uh, 20 is ideal, 36 is possible. Yes. And uh, it, we handle that pretty well. Excellent. Uh, don't I know worry. you have lined up a few more trips for next year already. Which is your big trip that you are thinking of uh, to start promoting first? Well, I am going to make my third trip to Iceland. Uh, yeah. All three of them will be with Indus Travel. The Thank first you. one was on a, uh, a small boat that circled the island, uh, the island nation of yes, Iceland. Yeah. So we went into a lot of ports along there. Very, very scenic. But I learned from that experience that you're not seeing all of uh, Iceland. So my next tour was a land tour. Land tour. that toured the complete uh, the circumnavigation of the whole island. And yeah. we got to waterfalls like... Uh, 15 waterfalls, spectacular waterfalls, and all of them were accessible. And uh, all of them were included in the, in the tour. And no, uh, 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 no um, optional Option. tours that yeah. was included, you know, yeah. so it made it very affordable. And lodging, lodging in quaint villages, pretty nice. And of course, after that, uh, my next uh, uh, trip, will be in November for, for Egypt again, Egypt. my sixth trip. Okay. <laughs> and it won't be my final trip. I, no. I've come to love you're gonna, Egypt. You're going to so, do more and more trips to Egypt, for sure. For sure. Yeah. I'll do one a year. Uh, uh, I have people that want to go in the summer so that they can bring their kids. Uh, it might be too hot in the summer. Not for me, but I'm just afraid that if I get some people there, they're going to think they can't take the heat. But uh, uh, for me, it's comfortable. Uh, after having lived there, uh, I realized that it's a dry climate and it doesn't, uh, the heat doesn't bother you like it would in, say, Florida or yeah. the Caribbean or some places more moist. Yeah. So, Thank you. Uh, yeah, this is what I have been also telling everyone that, yes, uh, things have changed. Uh, travel is going to be very different now. There will be some new protocols. You will have be wearing masks. You will be traveling in places which are now more care, they are taking more care they are sanitizing the bus they are sanitizing the hotels the tour guides are there to help you and look in your pictures you can see all your clients are so happy and, uh, and really enjoying the travel program after 20 months of no travel yes uh, i do like uh, particularly like to uh, uh, take a trip and then uh, to a new place for instance morocco i did a year or two ago and uh, my next tour to Morocco will be improved slightly because I will have learned uh, from that tour. For instance, I would include the uh, Rock of Gibraltar uh, yeah. as a, a trip across the, uh, what do they call those straits there? Uh, the I'm Straits not, of Gibraltar. Yeah, I think and so, go yeah. over and see the rock and then come back to Morocco and continue the tour. I'm working on Vietnam and Cambodia but I think right now the country is closed for tourism because of the, the yeah. pandemic. But I will keep an eye on that. Yeah, Not and, all have uh, started course, opening the travel, but many have already started and things are starting yes. to look better. Yeah, wonderful. Peru is another good destination. Uh, I modified Peru so that we get to stay three or four days in the quaint village just at the base of Machu Picchu, where we get to explore the rainforest and the uh, hot springs and have a, a full day on uh, on Machu Picchu. And uh, that's really worked out well for, yeah. for people because uh, getting, uh, I mean, it's like being a part of the country when you're in those small villages rather than in a hotel in a big town. So sure. I'm working on that again. Thank you. And I, that's the third trip, yes. Yeah. No, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for the information. I think people will uh, really start traveling now. And this is the right time before it starts getting crowded. You can enjoy beautiful sun, monuments, really many, many things. Uh, and yeah, Billy, thanks for sharing your information. Well, with this, us. this background right here is the view from my hotel room in Sharm El Sheikh. That's yeah. the sun rising over Tyran Island, which is part of Saudi Arabia. Just a beautiful location. Uh, a real, um, and, and not many American tourists or other uh, tourists from North America go to Sharm El Sheikh. They stay mm -hmm. in Cairo and the river. Um, I'm, I've modified my tours to get us into the Sinai where not many Americans go, but this place where we are here is like uh, the, the tourist Mecca for people from Europe. It's close to Europe and a lot of Europeans go there. Yeah. So it's fun to meet those people 
and to uh, establish friendships there. Sure. But thank you for thank uh, letting you. me uh, talk about my trip, uh, Arish. Thank and you. You guys thank have supported me superbly over the last eight years that I've been working with you. Thank you, Billy. Thank you very much for your endorsement. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Bye-bye now. Thank you.